Hello, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to add some simple sounds to a smart board activity using the Smart Notebook software. I'm using Smart Notebook 11, but this will work for most uh, versions. So what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to come over here, I'm going to select this for the Gallery Essentials, I'm going to open that up, I'll go into People and Culture, and I'm going to choose Currency and, sorry, and Canadian. Now really quickly here, I'll just pull in a loony, and I'm going to pull in a toony. Okay, so now I have my loony and my toony. I'm going to position them on the page here. And the first thing that I'd like to show you is how to add a sound directly to this object. So I'm going to click on the loony. That will bring up the box around it here. I'm going to choose this drop-down menu at the top. And then down here, I'm going to choose sound. This is going to give me a choice of taking a sound from file if I already have a sound, or what I'd like to show you today is how to record one right now. So I'm going to do a simple recording, and I'll do that by clicking on Start Recording Now. Looney. One dollar coin. Looney. And I'll stop the recording. So it's six seconds long. Right now it's called Recorded Sound. I could give it a different name if I wanted to. I could preview the recording, and then I can choose to have a corner icon or to have the object be the thing that you touch to hear the sound. So if I choose the corner icon, we'll see what that looks like now. I'm going to attach the recording, and now you'll see in the corner here this little icon. Now if I click away from the loony, this is what it would look like on my smart board for the students. If I don't want them to be able to move it around, I can select this, use the drop down again, and I can lock it in place. For now though, let's click on this and see what we hear. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that or not in the video, but it did work. Now again, I'm going to select the toonie this time, and this time we'll do it with just the object. So I'll say sound again from that drop-down menu. I'm going to say start recording. Toonie. Two dollar coin. Toonie. And I'll stop recording. This time, I'm going to choose the object rather than the corner icon. Again, when I click attach recording, this time you'll see that there is no corner icon, but if I click on the toonie itself, if you could hear that, you'll know that it worked, and it did. So, this way I don't have the icon, but I still have the sound. This way, I have the object here and a little sound icon in the corner. I do prefer this version. It's easier to see and to remember what has sounds and what doesn't. Now that's one step for this. Another way that we can do this is we can go up above here to insert. I can click on insert and I can say insert a sound. This time again I can choose from file or I can make a recording. The difference here is that we're not going to have this attached to the object. This will be a, a recording that sits on the page on its own. So let's do that now. I'll record Looney One dollar coin Looney and I'll stop recording. This time I'm going to keep the corner icon, I'm going to give it a different name, and I'm going to call this one number one. Alright, now I'll say attach recording, and you'll see that I now have this, number one. Again with the corner icon that I could click on to hear that sound. Very quickly I'll do that again, but this time I'll do it a little bit differently. Insert, I'll choose sound, and rather than saying loony one dollar coin loony, I'm now going to name the animal on the two dollar coin. I'll start recording. Polar bear. Polar bear. Stop recording. This time I'll say object. And I'm going to change this one here to number two. And I will attach recording. So now you'll see that we have a number two that is the sound icon itself. So if you wanted your learners to try and match these, they could click on the sound. And then they could drag it over to put it beside the correct one. Or perhaps up here they could choose one of these arrows and draw a line to match the two like this. Here if I click on this one now, back to my pointer, if I click on this one now, we'll hear polar bear. Again, they could drag it to match it there, or they could use one of these beautiful arrows, like this one, I like. 
to match it with that one there. So really the limit, the uh, the possibilities are limitless. Use your imagination. So two ways to insert sounds. One by highlighting the object and choosing the drop down and then choosing sound. And the other by creating a, a sound on the page itself by choosing insert and then sound again. I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching.